What I really wanted to talk to you about tonight uh, is the black belt, okay? Uh, I'm sure it's a thing that crosses people's minds from time to time, I'm sure. Yeah, and if you want, here, I'll do it so you can do it. Okay? It's a thing you probably had questions about, and in fact, I'll even let you, in a minute, I'll let you ask questions about it, but first I'm going to tell you how I feel about it. First and most, port, most important is I want every single one of you to have one, okay? That said, there's two ways to get one. I can go over to that computer and I can order one and I can just hand it to you. Uh, 100 bucks, okay? Just get, get one, okay? Or you can earn one. Mm. But listen to what I said. You can earn one, not... I can earn one and give it to you. You can earn one. Black belt itself is not an amount of things that you will learn. All of you are going to learn a different amount of things. You're going to learn different things deeper than others. You're going to learn those things differently than the people next to you. What you become good at, what makes you you, is for you. Yeah? Yes, sir. It's, not, it's not anything else other than that. So, if it's not about what you learn and about having X amount, then how do you get one? Okay. A black belt. In this school, in my mind, and guess what? If you want a black belt under me, you have to go off of what I believe one is. <laughs> okay? You can't bring me a different definition, and that's what I'm going to go off of. I'm going to go off of how I feel, and how I feel is it is a growth in you. It is not something you can learn. I'm going to say that again. It is not something you can learn. It's what you become. Okay? There's no amount of, I mean, I could, I could have a curriculum with one kata and a handful of kihon, or I could have a curriculum with a hundred kata and thousands of kihon. Doesn't matter. Because even, even on the mat, all of you, you don't have to look around, you don't have to, to say anything. I know that every single one of you can think about the other people who are sitting on the mat with you. And you can go, there's people that I want to learn from and spend time with, and there's people that I feel like waste my time, and that I don't get as much out. I mean, maybe they don't fully waste your time, but they, I don't get as much when I work with this person, but I get a lot when I work with this person. And guess what? Unless you're working with me or you're working with her, you're not working with the black belt which means that you are recognizing that in someone else, their, their value, their skill, their knowledge, their ability, their understanding. These are the components of a black belt. Okay? When those characteristics hit where I think they should be, that's when it happens. Yes, sir. Okay? They're physical requirements. You need to, you need to be capable. Right? You need to be a capable person. You need to be a capable fighter. You need to be capable of turning on what, you're, what you are capable of in a moment. Because that's, if you need to use this stuff, then you've got to be able to do that. You've got to be able to decide to be able to be what you need to be. And you've got to be able to decide, like we talked about earlier, to not be that if it's not the right time. That ethical and moral understanding is part of it. Okay? Your understanding of, you know, over time, if you train with me a while, since they trained with me for more than seven years before she got to wear that, I trained under my sensei three and a half years. Okay? That's not anything about her, that's not anything about me. It's that it is not equal. These things happen for you when they happen for you, and they are a product of the work you put into yourself. And that doesn't mean how much you hit the bag. That doesn't mean how much you work your kata. It means how much you care about who you are and what you do and wanting to understand and wanting to help and wanting to, to be the person that you want to be. And some of that's deciding who you want to be, not who I want you to be, but who you want to be. And chasing that, chasing that with passion 
seeking it and spending every, every ounce of what you have trying to become who you want to be. Now, that said, if the thing that you want to be is something that I don't think should have a black belt, then you won't have one, <laughs> okay? But I believe in you. I believe that, that if you have stuck it out training with me in this space, then at least a part of you aligns with what I'm looking for and what I care about. It. We don't tend to stick, out, stick around hearing somebody tell us things that we don't agree with and be like, cool, see you Tuesday, right? That's not how that works. So if you're here, that means there's a part of you that is already on the track. Like that means that there's parts of you that are already in alignment with what I will be looking for. Okay. And how that looks for each of you will be different. And you will chase that in your own way. And it will take your own time. Sometimes it comes easy. Sometimes it comes hard. Life is part of it, not just here. You learn a lot through your experiences in life and they inform who you are, how you feel about things, how you think about things, everything. All of that plays in. A black belt is not earned on this mat. A black belt is earned in this life. Okay. I can see who you are, and the people around you can see who you are. If the person that you are when you're not here is not a good person, you're, not, you, you can, you're probably not going to be able to hide that when you are here, even if you try, okay? And it's a waste of energy. Be who you are all the time. And so you should always be striving to be who you are and be the person that you want to be. And you should always be assessing and reevaluating. Do I like the direction I'm going? Do I like the people I'm around? Do I like the decisions that I'm making? Chase the things that matter. But don't, real, don't, don't think for a second that the things that mattered to you when you were 10 are the things that will always matter to you in your entire life. They may. Some might. All won't. Promise. I, I can swear on that because I know that it's true. Okay. So when you work to become who you are, when you work hard, that's, that's what it is. When I see your character develop, uh, traits that I look for, is, is when probably one of the hardest ones sometimes for some people. And everybody's challenges are different. Some people come in with some of these things right away and they have to develop other things. <clears throat> some people have the opposite. They gotta flip it around, okay? Very often, we come here for selfish reasons. They might be noble selfish reasons. I don't want to be bullied anymore. To me, that's a noble selfish reason. That is 100% about you and not about anybody else but it's also a good thing to, to want, right? But as that becomes possible, why does that become possible? It doesn't become possible because you can throw a good punch. It becomes possible because you start to believe in yourself, have confidence in yourself, and start to be able to walk away from things you should be able to walk away from and start to be able to be in situations that are better for you, that pull you away from that, right? And sometimes, yeah, sometimes it does mean that you might end up in a fight or you might have a situation, right? You might have to defend yourself or you might do whatever, that's fine. But over time, the person that you are and the person that you try to be pulls you away from those things and that's what gets you away from the bully, not punching that bully. That solves the short problem until the next bully comes, right? Bullies tend to pick on weak people. It's people who care about themselves and spend a lot of time building themselves tend to not be weak people. They tend to be confident people, people that believe in themselves and they walk different. And that's what solves the problem, right? Having the skills to back it up if that doesn't happen on the right timeline, Useful, okay? But the thing that's gonna keep it from happening again is being able to recognize and make changes. Sometimes you're the bully who created the bully. You do things that made the other person want to bully you, right? We all wanna think that it's the other person's fault, the other person's problem, but that's not how it works. It's all related, and you gotta pay attention to all sides, and you are one of those sides, okay? From physical capacity things, I mean, you've got to be able to be powerful. We work to be powerful, to hit well with good body mechanic. That's gonna look different because we have different bodies, okay? You need to be able to be um, resilient. We looked at that tonight. Your ability to, to withstand when things aren't what they should be, 
and be able to rise anyway. Your ability to, to be there for somebody when it's hard, the ability to be there for yourself when it's hard is something that I look for. Your ability to give up on something that's not working and utilize all the skills you have and change what you're doing in a moment to match the situation and as that situation changes to change again to match the new one, these are things that I look for. Notice that I have not once said you need to know this many katas and this many things and these techniques. You'll know what you need to know. And take a second and look around. Look at each of you. Look, yeah, look at each other right now. Every single one of you, your test will be different. The things that you know when you test will be different. The things that you need to know to test will be different. The qualities of you that get tested will be different. So don't ever look at the person next to you and have feelings about what they have that you don't have or what they did to get what they got because it took something of them to get what they got. They paid the cost. Just because that cost doesn't look like your cost does not mean that it did not cost a lot, right? Sure. You might feel like your test was not like your test was incredibly physically difficult and you could look at somebody else's test and be like, I feel like they didn't have to do anything, but inside here it was the hardest thing that they have ever had to do. You don't get to decide that and you don't get to know what it feels like and it's not your problem, so don't worry about it. Okay, worry about you. You will be tested on you. This school does not use a, a outline of this is what you need to test. It uses an outline of are you this thing? Are you this? Would I go to somebody that I trust and, and have, and have uh, respect for and say, I believe this person is? That's why she's wearing one. I don't think there's anybody in here that doesn't think that she has skill, and I absolutely think that you should. But she wears that because I would go to anyone and say, this person is a black belt. I will put my name on that. Okay? So, you will be the thing. Continue to strive. Continue to work. But make sure to never measure what you're working on based on how many things you've learned. Because you're missing the point. Don't base on, when will I get the next thing? Because you're missing the point. And definitely don't base on, you're not giving me enough because this is your journey. If you want more, do it. If you want to be better at a thing, go be better at it. If you're not good at it, work on it. If you don't know how to work on it, ask. I pay attention. If I see you working on it, I'm probably gonna help you. If I think that every time you come in that you don't work on it, the things that you that you don't show me that you have a thing that you feel like you need to work on and you're just waiting for me to tell you what to work on? Sorry, this is an old school mentality, but I'm not gonna give you anything. Because if you're not willing to put your work in, then you don't get the reward from me. That is a cost for me, okay? A lot of you probably don't realize this, but I don't get paid to be here. Yes, you pay money to be here. Yes, we have this place because of that money. We have the heat that turns on because of this money. We have water that runs because of this money. I do not eat because of this money. I do not take any of it home and never have. Okay? Maybe someday. I wouldn't mind that. It would be pretty okay. But I don't. But I do get paid to be here. I get paid by your effort. I get paid by your respect. I get paid by you appreciating what you get and passing it to other people. That's how you pay me. Okay? So when you come in and work on yourself, that gives me joy and that's why I'm here. When I feel like everybody, if I, if I feel like there's ever a day where the people on the mat just come in and take and take and take, I will, I will shrivel up and not be able to do it anymore. Right? But when I feel like people come in here and they get what they should have and they work hard and they, and they support everything about this and they appreciate what they're given, I get paid, okay? So work on you. 
Know that you are in charge of this journey, that no amount of me being on this mat or not being on this mat decides how far you go and how well you do. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Oh, I thought there was a follow-up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Raise your hand. Yeah. Hi. That hand, look at it. That hand is attached to the person who can decide how well you do. And if, anybody's, if that hand you looked at was attached to anybody else in this room, then we've got to talk about that. <laughs> okay? You are the only person who decides how well you do. And even if you don't train here, even if you decide that I'm not the person you want to train with, or even if you have to move away and you've got to train with somebody else, you still decide what you're capable of. And no piece of fabric, no rank, no anything is your skill. If I said, cool, go change into whatever you wore today. And have I taken away any of your ability? None. Okay? That is, that is a burden on me. If I feel that you are irresponsible with what I give you, I will stop giving you because I can't take it away. If I teach you things that you can use poorly and I continue to do that, then I am the problem. Okay? Karate Kid Miyagi said, there are no bad students, only bad teachers, right? And it's partially true. You got to work. To be a good student, you got to work, right? But the truth is, you get. So if you feel like you're not getting from me, look at what you're, what you're giving, what you're doing for yourself. Because your ability comes from you. And I will give you the world. There is not a thing that I have that I will not give. I'm not protecting anything. I don't care about it. I will give you all of it. I want you to have it. I... I record these things, I say these things, I do these things so that long after I'm gone, it's yours. It's, it, it, I don't own karate. I don't own any of the arts that I teach. I don't own it. It's not mine. As soon as you take it, it's yours. You can be like, I do this style. I train this place. That's fine. You do your karate. You do your jiu-jitsu. You do your screaming. It's yours. The only person who can do it is you. And the only person sitting next to you can do their style is them. Right? As you go this way, you get people that I've trained longer. Not a single one of them does what I do. Every single one of them does what they do. It might look like things I do, because you look like your teacher, and you learned from somebody, right? But every single one of you do what you do, not what I do. So how do I ever give you a black belt for learning what I do? I don't. I give you a black belt for becoming who you are and doing what you do. So chase that.